<laughs> I had to draw Darwin on his knees quite a few times. He's just... He's the type of person that lent themselves to getting into any kind of position in order to to find the truth. So yeah. we, we had him hanging upside down, on his knees, all sorts of things. Leaning over a, the side of a ship quite often. <laughs> so what is your own favourite from your own drawings in your book? My favourite drawing is him writing about looking forward to going home and then stopping off from his diary to be sick and then coming back to writing. Yeah. But I really enjoyed putting him through quite a few tough experiences. <laughs> Darwin was popular with everyone on board because of his good humour and knowledge. They also liked him because he was an excellent shot. Sometimes he killed animals as specimens because they couldn't be sent back to England alive. Other times he shot them or killed them with a blow to the head from his geological hammer. Nobody was squeamish about this. Nobody worried about endangered species back then. Darwin was just as interested in geology as he was in animals. In South America, he unearthed several fossils, as well as non-fossilised remains of extinct animals. One of the things he noticed was that the remains of these long-dead animals often resembled living ones. His study of rocks and fossils would be essential to his theory of evolution. I really love this picture of yours where Darwin is sweating and pulling out a bone uh, bigger than himself. Later he said that this experience, finding all the bones, that was the origin of all my views. So he put this right up with the Galapagos, the great animals that he found in the coast here. Really, the bones were that important? Really? I think they were immensely important. Wow. Uh, oh, I'd love to pull one of those out, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes. So, well, hi, Anthony. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Um, in the comic book, I drew Darwin riding a giant armadillo, inspired by his riding the big tortoises in Galapagos. Oh, yes, yeah. But would he really have ridden a giant armadillo like that? Yeah, he would have done if they were still alive. I mean, of course, this species went extinct thousands of years before Darwin found it as a fossil here in South America. Um, but, yeah, I think... Uh, Darwin wouldn't go down very well today as, uh, as a naturalist because he did no problem <laughs> with riding animals, killing them, eating them as well. Like he did the, uh, he was the eating these, the modern day armadillo, the descendants from, from these ones. He said that they, were, they tasted excellent uh, roasted inside their shell. <laughs> They're very unique uh, species and that's why it was so striking to Darwin when he saw the ancient one, the fossil one. It really started him thinking about why you were finding the same types of animals in the same place but thousands of years before and could have one have descended from the other so these are, these are very crucial fossils that you found right here in Argentina.